Good morning and welcome everybody to Stardew Valley here on Additional Pylons Games. It's going to be nice and sunny tomorrow. The spirits are happy today. And we are here on the last... Oh my gosh. Oh sweet mercy. <laughs> Let's get to plucking. Oh boy. Wow, we Potatoes like crazy. And parsnips too. Potatoes and parsnips. Alright, well, here's our big money day, I guess. Uh, there's not enough time in the rest of the season for us to plant anything else. So we're going to just, uh... Ah, there's, there's a little gnat in my face. Uh, we're just gonna pick all this stuff. And, uh... Take that moolah and roll it into summer. That's how we're gonna do it. Uh... Man, I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared. Um... This is actually going to be our last episode in summer. Or, sorry, spring. We'll be going into summer next episode. So that's exciting. Going to go into a new season. And if we play our cards right, and if our um, if everything happens the way that we want it to, summer will be the last season that we have for Stardew Valley. This, this Let's Play, that is. We should be able to accomplish everything that we need to um, in summer. We need to get a duck feather. We need to get some crops that are only available during summer. We need to get a truffle from our new pig that we picked up last episode, I think. So, we are uh, potentially coming to the end of this series. Which is both uh, yeah, bittersweet. I was going to say both heartbreaking and fun. Um, <coughs> heartbreaking that I've really enjoyed Stardew Valley. I've enjoyed playing it. Uh, it's it's just a fun, relaxing, easygoing game. Uh, kind of heartbreaking in that, you know, this is the kind of game I, you know, it's it's time to it's time to move on. I'll put it that way. Uh, the channel is is ready to go. I think we are 75 episodes of Stardew Valley is quite enough. I would say <coughs> quite sufficient for our purposes. So I've, in, I've enjoyed it immensely. Hopefully, hopefully you have too. And uh, anyways, let's go ahead and... All right, almost done with our potato and parsnip plundering. Get that alliteration going. One of the other things that we'll have to do is uh, start setting up our farm for all the, uh, the new sprinklers that we're gonna have. We got a spice berry and a blackberry. And let's check in on our ducks, chickens, and rabbits. No, 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 no. One of these rabbits has not been petted. There it is. Got him. All right, and you. And, oh, we got a chicken inside. Somebody's a homebody. We go okay eggs collected daily chore checked off the list go ahead and get our half cut our cherry we still got room in our inventory that's good and time to collect all of our coffee beans yay <coughs> and our oranges too I forget about them I realize that we just have so many coffee beans and so little time left in this series. I don't know if we'll ever... <coughs> I don't know how, how much of the uh, coffee beans we'll, we'll be able to process by the end of the series. That, that realization just dawned on me. <laughs> nice, little, nice little snort there from our, our resident pig. Is that everybody? Nobody's in there. Don't see anyone down here. Okay. Oh, one more cow. I was gonna say, that seemed like we were missing one. All right. Let's go ahead and get our watering can. Nope. Nope. Fill it up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Accidentally destroyed this plant last episode. We were trying to mine up a seed. Alright. 
Not the end of the world, though. Get our strawberries watered. <clears throat> Hopefully we get one more harvest out of them. If we don't, well, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Again, if you guys have been following along, you'll know that this spring was kind of just a little bit of a disaster from a logistical standpoint. Spent a bunch of money that didn't actually end up producing any uh, any plants. Oh, we missed a strawberry the other day, it would seem. <coughs> Got any others? No? Okay. It's fine. That just means that that plant is guaranteed not to uh, have another harvest, I think. Alright. Anyways. So like I was saying, we've had a we've had a good run. There's just a few more things to wrap up here in Stardew Valley. And we'll have completed a, the longest series to date. We've got one tree ready for tapping uh, on the channel. One tree ready for tapping. Okay. All right. So we have, I think we have one tapper left actually. So while we're heading up this way, let's go ahead and. Drop off anything that we're selling into the sell box. Um, parsnips, potatoes. Let's just go ahead and sell these guys. Um, same with all the milk. Okay, that's all going into storage of some sort. Got some honey up here. Go ahead and grab those. There we are. Some wild honey. Mixing in. There we go. Make some money off of that. All right, so all these sprinklers can get torn, torn down, with the exception of the two that are still kind of growing something. Um, these guys, let's get you, you. There we go. In we go, oh, beautiful. What a beautiful sight. Let's drop these guys off. You as well, as well. Okay. Let's get our eggs processing first. Salmon berries are up. No, do not eat them. There we are. Salmon berries can go back. Got enough for a uh do -do. one of these, one of these, and we can build ourselves another keg. Lovely. Let's drop these back in there. Let's set the keg down there. Let's grab up a salmon berry. Get some salmon berry wine going. Nice. You guys are getting sold. This is gonna get processed at some point. Everything else is working right now. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's start cleaning this up. Any sprinklers that aren't sprinkling anything, get mixed. We'll place them back next season. Actually, tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Today. Let's plan it out today. all these up with the exception of this guy right here and that one right there you know what screw it no sorry but we're gonna do all our planning today I've, I've made up my mind that was probably one potato I'm not sure how much money we get from potatoes but couldn't have been that much so I'm not gonna worry about it oh no all right there we go. All right, so we've got 34 quality sprinklers. We've got 43 quality sprinklers and three iridium sprinklers as well. 24 adjacent water tiles every morning. So, um, just to be clear, one, two, three, five, six. No, wait, okay, hold on. 24 would be, is it two in every, dir every direction? I just wanna make sure that I have this right. One, two, three. Okay, so if I put one, let's just put one here. Let's just do the math from here. 
Okay, so one. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, ten. 15. Okay, so it's two in every direction. All right. Okay, that helps. That helps. All right. So if that's the case, then one, two. So we can put a sprinkler here. Right? Yes. And then it'll cover these two. One, two. Okay. So if we're going to do it like this, then like that. And, um, yeah, let's do these. Let's do these big sprinklers out here. The iridium ones. Let's do them out there. All right. Just getting ready. Getting prepped for next season, guys. Got to make sure that we got everything set up here for prime, prime farming. Okay, so one, two, so if we put one here, like that, one, two, one, two, so the next one would go there, one, two, one, two, okay, so there's not enough room there, but we can do another one right, one, two, one, two, so right there, there, okay, so there we go, we've got, uh, no, actually, that's totally messed up, because that one's not going to get full, okay, uh, jeez, this is way too hard. I'm making this much harder than it actually needs to be. It's probably the the realistic. So let's do there. One, two, three, four. There. And then we'll do the other one. One, two. Get out of the way. Uh, no. Gonna do that. Okay, one, two, three, four. Here, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so then all these sprinklers down here, I guess, stay the same. So that, were, that was a lot of unnecessary work on my part. Oh well. I think that we're actually, we'll leave this path open here. Uh, so that I, to cut down on uh, walking time. Because that was kind of annoying every time that we walked down that we were, we were slowed down. Alright. So... Okay, so we'll leave this open, or do we want to shift these over one? If we shift these over one, then we gain another, yeah, okay, let's do that. So we'll shift these over one. Okay. So we have our walking lane right here, but now this bottom sprinkler gonna have a full nine and then we can fit another sprinkler here another one there okay so we've still got our walking path here this guy goes here one two so this is oh okay we're not gonna have a walking path going this way but that's okay like so like that and then this guy goes there and two. there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I realize this is not the most exciting thing, but it's, it's quite necessary, I assure you. Um, so this is kind of... That has to go there for efficiency's sake. Um, and there. Okay, this is kind of... This is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge. Um, but we'll deal with it. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And now we've got a bunch more sprinklers that we can plug in down below where our strawberries currently are. All right, let's get into the shed. I realized, man, that was just a lot of thinking. I, I think that's going to work out okay. I'm not really sure, though, to be completely honest. Uh, you know what? We really need the moolah. So let's go ahead and get some ancient fruit jelly going. Let's just start processing all of our high, our high earning stuff. Get that going. All right, we've got an egg. Start processing that egg. Let's drop off everything that we can sell in the magic cell box. And then tomorrow we'll spend some of our day doing some, uh, doing some
Guardians of Hoenn. Um, put that in, eh, we'll just keep it with us. It's just one, it's one spot, that's fine. Okay, um, so this is gonna be our walking path. So let's go ahead and just undo this right there. And then we can start hoeing up some of these. There and come on. There you go, your mom. There we go. Not sure that one will actually get reached. But we're just getting started. Just getting started on this, guys, and we can have our farm all set up. Oh, that stinks. And and good for when summer actually does come around. Then we can spend our days of summer actually working on the things that we need to be working on and not spending all our energy pulling up the ground. A little, a little forethought and planning goes a long ways, right? Uh, what's the saying? Uh, an ounce of prevention is a pound is better than a pound of cure? That equals a pound of cure? All right. Well, it's getting late. There we go. Into bed we go. We'll see how much money our uh, potato apocalypse made us. Sweet mercy. Sweet, sweet mercy. Potato apocalypse was good to us. Almost 35,000. Again, a ton from potatoes. Oh my gosh. 26,000 from potatoes. Parsnips. Uh, bringing in uh, <laughs> almost nothing in comparison. But still. Every little bit helps. Man, that, I think that puts us over the mark for uh, getting our upgrade, our final upgraded house. The problem is that I don't think we're going to have enough. Yep, there it is. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that we have enough money to buy all the seeds that we need for, for summer. So, clear and sunny all day. Okay, fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor. Nice. And queen of sauce. Lucky lunch. Old legend has it that the meal is an irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. But if consuming it, you're likely to attract good spirits into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. Learn how to cook a lucky lunch. What's a lucky lunch? Yeah. Pancakes. Yams. Like, where is this thing? Lucky lunch. I just want to see what it is. Okay, roots platter, just see burger, stir fry, coleslaw, radish. What? It's not here. Does it take like a day to Oh there it is. Sea cucumber. What? Yeah, as in tortilla. That's a very strange combination. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and do some preliminary hoeing. I realize that some of these spots will get like un, will, like become untilled or whatever. But even then, it's better for us to till them and you know if we till them in, in like 50, 60 percent of them, you know, stay hoed, stay tilled, then then we're good. Dang it. These guys moving and grooving. I realize now that I have like a super hoe that can do that. Okay, that works too, I guess. And again, this these spots can't be worked actually. Wow. I'm not sure about this setup, guys. I'm not sure. I guess we'll just go with it though. We've already committed. Check the cave. We'll have to reposition our, uh, our scarecrow as well. A salmonberry. Lovely. Just what I've always wanted, bats. Just what I've always wanted. There we go. 
Coffee beans. The coffee apocalypse has arrived. Collect all our coffee beans and our oranges. Today. The last day of spring. So I think that between this episode and next episode, I will be sure to look up what the best, well, what the best items are for us to plant. Uh, some of them obviously need to be the items that we need in order to turn in our bundles. So we have to do at least some red cabbage. I realize we haven't even looked at our strawberries yet. There. There we are. Okay. One orange and two orange. Got all the coffee, I think. Alright. Uh I guess these are gone, but they look like looks like we don't actually need them. This one might be a different story. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Bunny. There we go. All right. Duck eggs. And regular eggs. Mm. <sighs> Always plenty to do here on the farm. Jim Bob is not, not what you would call a lazy man. That's for certain. That is for certain. Oh, come on, Pitsu. Don't walk away from me. Give me that milk. Okay. Goat milk. Large milk. Good. Oh, come on. Come on, girl. You gotta be kidding. Is it, like, based on position or something like that? Is it harder to... Pine tar. Right here. No. Got one tree that can be tapped. Two trees that can be tapped. Three trees that can be tapped. And I don't think that these strawberries are going to produce anything, right? I think they're done. So, that stinks. I think we got like two harvests out of them. Ooh. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. How did you get there? I knew there was something funky going on. Alright. Time to get into the shed. Let's get to processing. Alright, we got ourselves some mail here. All right, let's drop off everything we don't need in our raw resources and our storage, little storage bucket here. Um, okay. Go ahead and put you in here. You're getting sold. You're getting made into something. So... Tar? Okay. Man. No, do not eat the egg. Put it in the egg machine. Like we've done for hundreds of other... Dozens of other days. Alright. So, those eggs can get stored away. For now. You're getting sold, and you're getting sold. This is all getting sold. Okay. Raw resources were good, I think. Can't think of anything that we need to put in or take out. I guess. Uh... All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell a bunch of gold bars. Um, we've got a bunch of gold bars that we're probably not gonna use all of them. Put five more back. So we'll sell those, and that will finance our seeds for next season 
let's go ahead and grab all the wood hardwood and stone that we have and check out what we might need in order to get our house upgraded let's get that done i think between what we have i think so it'll take a hundred thousand so we'll be good i think i think so again we're gonna finance our finance our seed buying with with some gold back currency right for all you gold standard people there out there i guess you'll appreciate that i don't know we've got some forage here that we can take advantage of as well make a little bit of money off of these off of these guys so we're going up to the mines actually just real quick Cut down a few more trees, just to see if we can't get a little extra wood. That way we have enough for however much wood it takes to uh, upgrade our house. House? Ho wow. Apparently I'm Canadian now. Upgrade our house. Hopefully we have enough. 560 some pieces of wood. This will probably put us at like 590. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough. It should be, I would think. It'd be a little crazy if it didn't. It wasn't. Alright. Hi! Upgrade house. The cellar can be... I can add a cellar to your house. The cellar can be used to age certain products like wine and cheese. It will cost 100 G's. Are you interested? Yes. Get started tomorrow. Should be finished in around three days. Alright. Well, there goes pretty much all our life savings. Uh, it didn't cost us any resources, which is actually kind of nice. So let's head back up here to the mine. Um, and, you know, we haven't been to the quarry lately. So let's let's take a quick trip to the quarry. To see what's there. Well, okay. Some of it's just rock. Be nice. So we're just gonna kind of clean this out, get ourselves some resources here. We might grab a couple pieces of coal, maybe, which would be good. Kind of work our way down. Some copper, that's actually really good. Come in handy for all those tappers that we need to make. Once these trees, more of our trees start sprouting. For now, it looks like we just got a bunch of stone. Hmm. So yes, definitely going to do some research between this episode and next time. To see what, what we can do to maximize our profits here in summer. What crop should we be going for? To research what we can do with the cellar. So wine and cheese, obviously, was what she said to us. The question is, do those same kegs allow for uh, allow you to make coffee in them? If not, that's a problem. Not really a problem. If not, that just means that we'll be moving our winemaking production. Oh, let's go across a bridge. I'm not sure I've ever gone across this bridge. Um, we'll be moving all of our wine production down there to the cellar. All our strawberries, salmon berries, all that sort of stuff. And then uh, we'll use the kegs in the shed to build, to make our coffee empire go. All right, let's, uh, all right, let's just take a quick inventory here. So this is where we're at. Um, spirits are in good humor today. And we really don't have anything else to do except for cut down all the strawberry plants. Because they're not going to be able to produce anything by tomorrow anyways. They're going to wither. Hmm. Okay. Animals are fed and milked and stuff. Mm, yeah. I think we're good. Let's go down to the mines. I can't think of anything else that we would need. So again, we're going down here to level 55. Because this is where we start getting these dust mites. Right here. And these guys drop coal. Or at least they can. Alright. 
take a look here. We got a bat. We got... Okay. Well, it looks like it might be worth checking out the rest of this area. Nothing up there. Nothing really down there. Okay. Down we go. Oh, wow. All sorts of dust mites. And there's our exit right there. And another exit. Oh, yeah. This is definitely good luck right here, guys. This is what we wanted. We want this coal so we can, uh... Make more preserve jars. Nothing really down here. More copper for all the tappers that we're gonna need to make. Good stuff. All right. Happy day. Good fortunes indeed. Oh my goodness. Just what we wanted, guys. Just tons of those dust mite things. There we go. Get some crystals. Nice. More coal. More loot. Nope, nothing from the crystals. Okay. Still got a few hours. Let's keep rushing through, Jim Bob. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. How deep can we go? How much loot can we get? Okay. Start. Start cracking rocks. See if we can't find a way down. There we go. This is what we're looking for. Easy. Easy loot. Them. Okay, there was another iron one over here. Come meet your maker, fuzzballs. Okay, anything else over here? Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, that's a coal bag. More coal. Oh, baby. This is just, just what we wanted. Everything we've ever... Well, I've ever wanted, guys. Get that sync song going. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that coal. Give me that good coal. Alright. Go down real quick. Okay. Spiraling area. Not gonna not gonna do it. Alright. Leave the, leave the mine. Come on back to the bus stop. And let's just check real quick how much... 27 coal. Nice. That's, uh, along with what we have already in the, in our shop, that's four more. Uh, it's four more machines. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got put stuff into our cell box. So you, so you, so you, you guys can go, you can go, and you can go. Okay. To the shed. We might be up just a little bit beyond our bed normal bedtime. There we go. Now we do have a few eggs to process. Let's go ahead to raw materials. Uh, we want. Actually, I think we've got everything we need for more preserves jars. There it is. Four more. Okay. Raw resources for all you guys. You as well, you as well, you as well. And you. Okay. Preserves jars. Man. Uh, let's go ahead and just stick them here. Let's 
get some, we want our expensive fruits. Uh, no, coffee beans can go back. Uh, let's do two star fruits and two ancient fruits. Get those preserves going. Okay. This all gets sold with the exception of the eggs. The eggs need to get turned into more mayo. They'll be ready in the morning. Okay. All set. All set. Let's go drop things off in the magic cell box. And uh, we'll call it a day. Call it an episode two. So I will go ahead and do some research on what strategy we're going to use in order to make the most amount of money here through summer and uh, kind of close out our time here in Stardew Valley in the next few episodes. Let's go to sleep and see how much moolah we made. All right. Ten grand, just about. Good portion of it from these gold bars that we sold. Gold bars did not sell for nearly as much as I thought they would. Um, that's okay. That's all right. We'll make do. I think we're going to have... Uh, we should have about uh, 18 or 19 grand with which to buy seeds. Um, that's a fair amount. It's a fair amount, but not a ton. Uh, anyways, tune in next time as we start summer of year two. And we uh, kick, off, kick it off right this time. We're going to do it right. We're going to make sure that we've got... Fertilizer, we're going to make sure that we've got the right seeds. They're going to grow and make us lots of moolah. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in for more Stardew Valley here on Additional Pylons Games. Thank you for all your support, all your likes, all your comments, all your share, you know, sharing this channel, sharing these videos with your friends, that sort of thing. It means the world to me. Yeah, it really does, guys. So thanks again, and uh, I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.